Hey, hey, what's up, my peeps? At hashtag Algebra Nation. Anyway, I digress. This podcast will be on your workbook, page 126, right side. Got two questions to beat that test. The first one is, which answer is the factored form of the following polynomial? So in this case, ready? I can't factor anything out, so I'm going to go ahead and factor this trinomial with the coefficient in front. What's the first step? What is it? 2 times 5 will give me 10, positive 10. What multiplies to 10 and adds to negative 11? The factored of 10 would be 1 times 10. I can stop right there. But the signs to give you a negative would be a negative and a negative. Because a negative 1 times negative 10 will multiply to give you a positive 10. And negative 1 plus negative 10 will add to negative 11. Bring down the outside terms. Negative 11 becomes negative 1f minus 10f. First two, last two. What's in common with the first two? What's the GCF? Well, the GCF is an F. We're left with 2F minus 1. Drop down the middle sign. That means I'm going to factor out a negative, and all the signs are going to change. I can also factor out a 5, leaving me with positive 2F minus 1. I have a 2F minus 1 in common, and what's left on the outside is F minus 5. Hmm, let's see, which one's the answer? Remember, you can always switch these. That's called the commutative property, just so you know. Fun little extra fact there. You can switch multiplication around, and if you do, you'll see the answer is C. However, how could they make this more difficult? Because I know you know that if this was the question, we could also go ahead and just foil all the answers. Again, we know that if we were given these choices, you'd probably foil all these and not factor at all, which would defeat the whole purpose of showing you how to factor these. But what if you're given this one? Which of the following is a factor of the trinomial? So I, they just want one of the factors. So now you have to know how to factor this. So what do we do? Last one, step one. 12 times 3 is 36. What? multiplies to 36 and adds to negative 20. So I need the factors of 36. 1 times 36, 2 times ooh. Let's go ahead and use your calculator here. 36 divided by 2 is 18. Let's give it a try. 2 and 18. If I do a minus and a minus, negative 2 times negative 18 will add to negative 20. Negative 2 plus negative 18 will add to 36. We're good. 12b squared plus 3, bring the outside down. Negative 2b minus 18b. GCF with the first two, GCF with the next two. What's in common with the first two? A 2 and a b. Leaving me with 6b minus 1. What's in common with the last two? Well, i got to drop the negative, which means all the signs are going to change. Visible by 3, leaving me with 6b minus 1 again. So I can factor out the 6b minus 1s, and the outside is 2b minus 3. And the one factor that I actually get here is 2b minus 3, which for b, the answer is b for the 2b minus 3. So in the end, this is going to take some practice, right? Longest factoring rule, trinomials part two as I call it. It's actually called the AC method if you ever want to look it up, but that's how we're going to work them out. You still ask yourself what multiplies and adds, but you've got a few more steps that you have to work out. And if you have any other questions or any other methods you want to show, remember, post them on the wall.